Congratulations. What what do you say, Phil? Fill us in on your thoughts. Well, as I said, I'm 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 most honored to be to be honored by this organization. But it's such a thrill to be the only person to date. I'm sure there'll be many more to receive this award, second and behind Hal David, who I worked with for a number of years on the board and knew him. I've known him, I guess, for 30 years. And uh, my mother loved Hal. Uh, so to be honored with that award at this time was especially touching. But I guess most of all, it's, it's, it's touching that it, it's about songwriters, and that's what I've given my entire career to. And I'm the spawn of songwriters. And, uh, and uh, to be honored in this group, because obviously I'd, I'd never get in it as a songwriter. I've had, I'm, a, I'm the definition of a one-hit wonder. I wrote a song that went top five called I Cheated on a Good Woman's Love. And that's right. that'll never get me into any organization. But working with songwriters, which has been a, a passion I and a joy. I cheated on a good woman. See, there you go. I mean, you, maybe, maybe we should. Yeah. It could be the yeah. Starlight song, you know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but to, to get in or on the edge or whatever you call this award doing for one is really special to me. Well, and as you said, the spawn of uh, two of the uh, most incredible, you know, just husband and wife, Teams, any kind of teams of songwriters. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it. I mean, you were born into it, and you carried it forward. It, it really. It, I mean, it. It really is an extraordinary career. Well, I didn't think I would stay at BMI after I, I was signed up on the phone after about a minute, but my father in that brief break that we took in between phone calls, really the whole process on the phone didn't take five minutes. I was. I was like a mail-order bride almost. Uh, everything to my father was about getting your phone book in order. And as soon as Francis hung up and Dad said, well, either one of you boys interested in my brother, who had just gotten back from Vietnam, said, no, no, not me. He, was, he wanted to relax and run wild, and I don't blame him. But I had uh, a child and one on the way, and you don't make a lot of money sometimes working for your parents. You learn a lot, though. And my dad said, well, you know, it might be a good idea. You just, you could really get your phone book up to speed. And that was everything in that day. If you could call somebody and pitch a song or call a disc jockey and get it played or, or whatever. It had to do with contact. And I learned that early on from my father. And so I was going to get away for a year or two and get my phone book up to speed. And it's reality happened day by day. I never got my phone book completely up to the speed where I thought it was right. Made a lot of contacts, but never, never, never uh, detached and went back to, to, uh, to that end of the business. And, and it was so easy to work with people that were so similar in so many ways, not always as good, but aspiring the way my parents did. It, it's, it's been a joy. It's, it's, I can't believe it's been 42 years. And, you know, you, of course, mentioned Francis, and I wanted to yeah. ask you, I mean, following someone who, th there was never a greater legend in, in any part of the industry, yet you followed and followed in your own way and, and followed in such a way as to get this incredibly special award on your own. Uh, it's the Visionary Award. Did you have a vision coming in? Well, my vision has always been, somewhat as I stated, to help songwriters. It was the vision that they needed help. I, I, I saw that. I saw that message. I grew up understanding that message. My folks needed assistance. My vision was to be part of that aid package mm -hmm. that creators needed and publishers needed. Following Francis was not as hard as some might have expected because she carried me alongside everywhere. Just as my folks had carried my brother and I in and out of the studios, we were at, at studios and sessions where the Everly's cut or Orbison cut. We learned how to be quiet early on when that red light came on. And working with Francis, I learned how to listen to the spiel, the BMI spiel. And, and I knew it from one end. And I learned it from the other. And, we were a good team, and when it came my time to step up, 
I just kind of did what my folks had taught me, what Francis had. And I knew everybody. Everybody had sort of seen me close by. And uh, it was just a magical experience, and somehow it worked out. And I'm so thankful that it did.